Spoiler alert. This video shows the answers to all the clues in the treasure hunt. Before watching, please, please, please try the hunt for yourself so you get to enjoy the challenge. Only use this if you really get stuck. So welcome to the sixth treasure hunt or fox hunt. This is on the brand new course, Tethys Station. So here we are on the new space-based course and let's start with the first clue, which as ever is by hole one. Here we'll just turn back to the home module and there we can see this time we are looking for these eggs. Hello Ensign, welcome to Tethys. Your mission will be to locate and eradicate the eggs of an invading species of titanium space mite. Dirty work, but someone's got to hack it. Start in the reactor room, we suspect the queen was attracted to the power pylon. So first we need to find the reactor room. If we go to the giant mode, and there we can see that hole three is where we're heading. And this is home to the now broken reactor. And in that gap, we can see the second egg. As you have noticed, the station is in a state of some disrepair due to the infestation. Let's see if we can't clean this up. I noticed an egg under the spiral stairs on the outer asteroids. So the asteroids make up quite a big part of this course. So if we go back to giant mode, we can see we've got this spiral staircase. So if we locate ourselves on hole 11, and there we can see under the stairs is the third egg. The comms are on the fritz. If we fix them, we can get the data from our bio sweep and really hunt down these green blooded buggers. Look around a comm spike top side of our mined out asteroid. So the mined out asteroid, uh, we can see on the outer part of the course when we go to giant mode. And there you can just about see that comm spike. So if we locate ourselves in hole eight, and looking at the comm spike, you can see at the base, you've got the egg. I bet there's an infestation on our highest comm spike. Can you get all the way up there to check? So if you look from here, you can see the very top spike and you can just about make out the egg there. So if we go to giant mode and carefully position ourselves, you can teleport to the top and take a moment to enjoy the view from up here. And there is our next egg. Excellent EVA skills, Ensign but we aren't quite clear yet. I suspect there's one more we gotta scrape off a spike somewhere, but which one is it? So looking around, we are looking for the top of the hangar. This is probably easier from, from the giant mode. So there is the hangar. And if we teleport onto the top and head over to this side, we can see the spike. Got to get right to the edge and there you'll spot the next egg. Good, channels are pristine. Let's route some more power to the system by accessing the kiosk above the reactor room. So to get to the kiosk, we just look back above the reactor room where you can see the number three and just teleport underneath the stairs at the top there. And if we move around here, you can see the next egg. That did it. Now reinitialize the comm by accessing the console that's still functional in the hab unit. So hab unit, short for habitat unit, is over in hole four. And if we ignore the chaos down there, you can see the console and there is our next egg. We have com, uploading you the data now. The biosweep indicates a live egg within one meter of your current position. It must be on the outside of the hab. Might be a tricky one to get to. So you've got a couple of ways to get to this. You can head straight for this wall and cheat by putting your head through the wall. And there you'll see the egg. But if you want to locate it the more normal way, go to the giant mode, just where you see the number five, teleport there, and there's the next egg. Whoops, looks like one biosignal covered up another. Tricky devils, check the underside of this hab unit. Easiest way here is just to teleport straight down to this hole, and then look back up again, just to your left, you'll see the next egg. These buggers get absolutely everywhere. Some life sign coming from the very center of the hangar bay. Get it out of there. So the hangar bay is 
this big building here. So if we teleport into there and head towards the middle, you might have just seen it there. Look up and there's the egg. You kill good bug, Ensign. Now get your butt out to the UV condenser ring. In case you didn't read your manual, it's the big circle around our greenhouse biochamber. So remember this biochamber for later. Easiest way to get to the ring on the outside is to look under here and teleport to hole number 17. Once you're there, you need to turn around and teleport your way over to the outermost point and there is the egg just in line with the flag. There's one more blip from inside the asteroid. Check around the spent baryon halide canisters. So if we go to the asteroid that's been mined out, just by hole 15, which we'll teleport to, look to the very edge beyond the flag and you can see some of the spent canisters. And if we look down to the next tier below this one, you'll see there's an egg amongst them. That's all that the Biosweep found, but we know Titanian space mites come in broods of 14, don't we, Ensign? Where could that last bugger be hiding from our biodetection? So if we think about where the biodetection isn't going to pick up an egg, and we remember that biochamber from earlier on, we need to teleport to the inside of it. So that is hole 16, and you've got this greenhouse type biochamber. And over on your left, on the upper deck, you'll see the egg. So it's best to teleport up onto the shelf, work your way around, and there you have the final egg. Outstanding, you are an absolute genius at killing space bugs, Ensign. Have this old Omni Tool putter as a reward, and I'll see about getting you a promotion. And this is the reward. I think one of the best design putters in the game. So I hope that's been helpful to you. We will as ever give this one a quick try out. Uh, none of the holes are really particularly easy on this course, so why not try hole 12? Well, looks like I'm going to need a few practice shots, so thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you out on the course.